Hey everybody, my name is Rodney Dupree with Cajun Living and Cooking. And due to some of the tough times we have in our area right now, due to the coronavirus and the pandemic, uh, we won't be able to go film shows. So uh, we're going to ask for everybody to stay safe like we are. Uh, use your Lysol, clean up. Uh, we're going to air some of our older shows. And uh, we'll have our new commercials on it. And uh, everybody stay safe. Check out the shows. Like us on Facebook. But uh, thanks for watching Cajun Living and Cooking. Tideline, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a living. Line, trap line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens, that's how we live, and it sure feels fine. Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name is Rodney Dupree, and have we got a treat for y'all. Today's show, we're at the Ducks Unlimited Banquet tonight. They hadn't had one here in Gonzales in five years. This really neat. Don Seafood's here cooking. They're giving away tractors. They're giving away boats. They're giving away all kind of guns. We got silent auctions. We got raffles. Now we're going to show you what goes on at a Ducks Unlimited banquet. And Cajun Living and Cooking's fixing to start right about now. All right, y'all. When y'all come to a Ducks Unlimited banquet, the first thing you do is look for the good food. And what we got is some real good food right now. This is Ray Stonemark, who owns Don Seafood. How you doing? Doing good, man. Now, y'all got some really neat stuff y'all cooking. We do. We do. I, and let me introduce Anna Watkins, okay. our catering director. Hello. She handles Hello, all of our Anna, stuff nice at, to uh, meet you. at the restaurant for us. Gotcha. So, gotcha. But yeah, us. we got a, little, a nice little menu set up for tonight. We're starting out with some Zydeco shrimp, which is just a fried gumbo shrimp, a little pepper jelly sauce on top uh -huh. we we brought in a little bit of duck breast since it is ducks unlimited yes indeed so we're gonna do some duck medallions with a little apricot brandy glaze what? and then uh That's and then we're gonna, we're gonna I bet. Roll, in, roll into our meal which anna can tell you what we're serving yeah what tonight. was you doing up there what you messing with well we are serving the ribeye we also have our catfish acadian rice with a little crawfish etouffee on top okay. it's delicious we have our don's mashed potatoes and we also have some fr fresh green beans and then salad. Now I've seen girls walking around already with food. What they're what they carrying around? That's our Zydeco shrimp. We do serve that in the restaurant as well. And then our uh, duck breasts. Yeah. Now we want to get some, we're going to get some close-ups of some of this food, y'all. It's really, really unique. Now how long you been, how long Don's been? Well, I mean, Don's been around 1934. Forever. You know, we've been we've been around Cajun cooking for a, over 80 years. We opened the Gonzales establishment April of 09, so coming up on six years this year. Gotcha. April. And you've been with him ever since? Ever since. Yeah. All right. Well, I can't wait to get my hands on some of this food, y'all. Thank y'all for doing a good job, and we're fixing to taste some here in a little while. Thank y'all. Thank All right, y'all. I got Sid, Sydney here. Yes, sir. And she's got some really neat stuff. It's Tell us what it is. It's apricot brandy glazed with grilled duck. Man, it looks really good, y'all. Is it good? Shut the front door. That's good. Well, good. I ain't gonna hold you up. People's wanting this. You better go bring it out All there. All right, I'll be right back. Thank y'all. Thank you.
All right, y'all, everybody's getting their food now and starting to eat. It looks really good. I hadn't got a plate yet. This is a candidate for judge, Mr. O'Neill Parrington. Yes. Now, you've been eating. I've been eating. I've had the ribeye. The ribeye is great. It's well cooked. It has a butter sauce on top of it, some potatoes, and some green beans and all. It is awesome. The food is really good here. Great. Worth the price of admission alone. Yes, indeed. I, the line's all the way around the building over there, so I'm, I'm going to get in line here in a minute, but I want to get somebody with some taste test going on. So It passed the taste test. Got an A. Give it an A. You heard it right here. Thumbs up on the food, Don's. Porsche's Sausage, located in French Settlement, is bringing back that old country smokehouse flavor and customer service. This third generation family, dating back to 1946, has all your favorites. Hall cracklings, beef jerky, head cheese, and smoked sausage. 
Like the old days of Donald Porsche, our on-site butcher has all your specialties. Smoked Tasso and Hawks, Andouille, Meat Sticks, and Uncle D's Bayou Blend. Come and experience Porsche sausage. It's a wonderful thing. Monogramming Unlimited specializes in corporate and small business embroidery on a wide variety of clothing and accessories, like shirts, jackets, hats, bags, and much more. Our screen printing department is perfect for you. A very affordable way to advertise your business, club, team, or event. We also handle business cards, promotional items like pins and huggies, trophies, medals, plaques, banners, and signs. No job is too big or too small. Call or come by today. Living through Mower Supply and Home Center, an authorized Hustler, Bobcat, and Toro lawnmower dealer. Specializing in service, support, and satisfaction. Come see the wide selection of new mowers, ports, string trimmers, blowers, chainsaws, and much more. Our home center features hardware, feed, outdoor cooking supplies, hunting gear, and everything for the do-it-yourself homeowner. Come take a short country drive to the hidden jewel of Livingston and experience real professional knowledge and health. Livingston Mower Supply and Home Center. <laughs> y'all got the cooks out here everybody is happy in there everybody has ate good everybody's doing well now you got your chef here Rodney let me introduce Micah Grenier hey doing bub hey man kitchen nice to meet you kitchen manager meet you. Don's he basically runs runs Don Seafood and Gonzalez over gotcha. here okay. give me some numbers give me some numbers what all we 380 ribeyes tonight yeah. we got two yeah. 300 pounds of mashed potatoes probably about 100 pounds of green beans we did 50 pounds of duck did probably about 30 pounds of shrimp on them zy those zyde yeah yeah around earlier that was were good and i think we did 10 pans of bread pudding oh yeah 10, wow. 10 full size pans of bread pudding with some man i'm gonna tell sauce. you what top notch food y'all don seafood when you get a chance you go over there and get you some food because they're gonna take care of you that's it come see us we'd love to have you all right y'all i got a duck hunter here official duck hunter jude barber and he's with duck down waterfowl we had to step out while the auction was going on. That is loud in there, y'all. And they are making some money for Ducks Unlimited. Now tell us about uh, Duck Down Waterfowl. The big thing with Duck Down Waterfowl is, is we're trying to be bring more attention to Louisiana. Uh, a lot of the times you have states around the country that are getting more attention for their waterfowl, but if you do the numbers, if you go to the books, Louisiana harvests more waterfowl every year than any other state in the United States of America. Wow. So it's very impressive. And uh, it, it's something that not too many people touch on. And as far as being a Louisiana resident, a lifelong Louisiana hunter, and that's something I'm very proud of. So why do I want to go and travel out the state, across country, all the time when I can get the best duck hunting, best waterfowl hunting in the country in my backyard? We've got the birds here. Yeah. Now y'all put out a DVD every year? Every season we come out. This is actually our third season. Uh, we, we call it South of I-10. Instead of most uh, seasons, how you, you call it, the 2013-2014 season, we don't put dates on our DVDs. Our DVDs ah. are timeless. We, we try to do a mixture of entertainment, information, and, and just we try and encapsulate the, the Louisiana good old boy mentality. Yes, uh, it's not a lot of hoity-toity hunting. We, we love going hunting with the guys that have to work their butts off to, to get to their spot. And, and we like to go with the guys that literally could wear Reeboks to the yeah, line. Yeah. But it's it's just the whole experience as far as waterfowl hunting in Louisiana. We have the best food. We have the best waterfowl in the country. So why not showcase that? Right. Uh, this is our latest one south of I-10. Uh, it's, it's a big theme that we do every year as we try to pick a theme. And uh, actually with, with this newest one, we never ended up hunting north of the I-10 interstate. Oh, so neat. it just made sense to call it south of I-10. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they can go to your website? Website www.duckdownwaterfowl.com. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram, uh, and you know it's 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 just Louisiana proud. That's our motto. Awesome. Well, it's good to see some real duck hunters here at the Ducks Unlimited Banquet. You know, you get all walks of life in here. You got a lot of politicians. You got non-hunters. You got hunters, and it's it's everybody, y'all. It's really neat. And I want to thank you for taking the time oh, to talk no with me. Yes, sir. And uh, I'm gonna get your video. Oh, well, thank you. Thank Appreciate you. It. All right, y'all. What a good night at the Ducks Unlimited Banquet. 
Hadn't been to one in years. Same old stuff. Good stuff. You got good stuff to win. You got good food. Good people. Things are really good. I even broke out my old duck calls for this. Had to blow one on camera. But um, make sure y'all come next year to the Ducks Unlimited Banquet. East Ascension Branch. They have it in Donaldsville. They have it in Baton Rouge. They have them all around, but it's really, really good fun. You come do it. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com Fred's Bar on the River has something for everyone. Open seven days a week. Football on the big screen TV, pool tables, golf, darts, and the new boat launch bar. Ladies night on Wednesdays. Thursdays is open mic night. Karaoke on Fridays with DJ Rocky. Live bands on Saturday and Sundays. The Giant River Bar is air conditioned and ready to book your company's events or your Christmas parties. Come out and enjoy a good time on the river. The new, completely renovated Fred's on the River Food Mark, located at the Port Vincent Bridge, is now back open and better than ever. With biscuits, coffee, and sandwiches ready every morning at 4.30 to get you started. And a full breakfast menu from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. featuring homemade hash browns, pancakes, eggs, and our country-style biscuits and gravy. Our newly renovated store has all your needs from local vendors, plus cold beer, lottery, gas, and tobacco. Try our new lunch and dinner menu featuring our famous boat launch burger, overstuffed New Orleans style pressed po' boys, 100% beef hamburgers, pizza, and by far the best onion strings you have ever tasted. So come by and enjoy Fred's on the River Food Mart, where we've come back bigger and better than ever, but we haven't lost our hometown feel. Hey folks, you're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. My name's Rodney Dupree, and we got a good show for you today. We're out here at the Waddell Outdoor Educational Center for Women in Outdoors. Help being put on by the Wild Turkey Federation. We got women shooting shotguns. Got it. Women shooting bows. They're gonna be making jewelry. We're gonna be doing some fly fishing. We got jambalaya. This is gonna be good. So y'all hang tight. This is gonna be a good show. All right, here we are with the shotgun expert. We went over there earlier and shot the shotgun. And with me, I have Richard Duga from West Baton Rouge Parish. He used to own Spillway Sportsman. All right. Well, nice to meet you, and uh, had a good time in your class. That was that was really interesting stuff you was telling us out there. Uh, the whole idea is trying to get the ladies to have fun. Uh, my first experience with trying to get ladies to shoot, they were so intimidated, they were actually trembling when they'd get around the gun. And it's uh, it can be a lot, a lot of fun. It's one of the most safe sports you can be into. And... Uh, try to present it that way. I show them safety, I think, as Leslie saw when she was there. And uh, there's, you can't put safety away. It's always in your mind, but you can have a lot of fun doing it the easy way, the safe way. And that's what we're trying to do. And it was pretty neat. Uh, they had fun shooting. Uh, one lady hit one, one lady missed them all, and one lady about hit everything out there. <laughs> and, and it's just the fun of shooting, uh, the, the camaraderie and the uh, the fun of shooting that's what i remember as a kid mostly i don't shoot as much as i used to but just to go shoot man we used to just i don't think we had enough bullets these days to shoot like we used to that's right well my daddy uh i mean money was tight and all and very very stingy with letting us shoot just haphazard so we learned to shoot safe and pretty deliberate and uh there's nothing like seeing when a lady hits it for the first time 
I mean, the uh, ear, uh, grin from ear to ear, just wonderful. Same thing with a kid. And uh, it's unfortunate a lot of parents or dads and stuff like that, or husbands, uh, think it's a macho thing to have their younger child or wife shoot a heavy gun. And I think they're going about it backwards because uh, it takes, it makes them scared, intimidated, and it takes the fun out of it. Once you, they see it's fun, they're going to tell somebody else in our sport will grow. Yeah. Instead yeah. of uh, declining like we're in a decline right now. I was like what you was, uh, something you said earlier about the 10%. Right. Uh, we're in a society, 10% of us are passionate about the hunt, 10% are passionate about anti hunting. There's 80% out there that would sway one way or the other, depending on what they are exposed to. If they're exposed to good, healthy, fun, uh, not the slob type atmosphere, then uh, they might come onto our side and in encourage the sport. You know, and that's what uh, that's what we're trying to get to have happen. This is a great organization. It's just we kind of been dormant for the last few years. The first time we had it, uh, of course, we had great weather and we had a lot of political help to get people out here, and it was uh, much better attended but you don't have more enthusiasm than what we have in right now. Right, it's really good to get the ladies out here. And then something else that stuck with me when we were in there that you said was um, about presenting yourself as a hunter, you know? How, 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 you know, you don't want to be no, just old trashy old hunter, you know, some of the things you said. Exactly. Uh, <clears throat> I've been on places uh, where we've had to kind of talk our way into getting to hunt until the the owner get to see that we're good people, we're not going to step on his wire fence, we're going to close the gate, we're not going to let his cattle get out kind of thing. Uh, I've been very fortunate to get invited back to those places and that's what we're trying to do. Especially, I uh, learned from my daddy, uh, we never had anything growing up, but whatever we killed, he shared it with the man that let us hunt the property. Cause we never owned anything as far as property being able to hunt. But if we kill a few rabbits, they always got some of the rabbit. And they didn't get the busted up ones, they got the good ones. Right. Same thing for the birds. And learn that as young, and especially if we step, stepped on a man's fence trying to get over it, heaven help us when, oh, yeah. got, when oh, daddy yeah. caught us. He's going to get it. So we learned I'm thankful for my parents, the way they taught us. And I'm just trying to pass it on to all my grandchildren. They're just too interested in the Yeah, they stuck on the video games. And they really are. It's hard to get them away. Well, I want to thank you again for coming right. out here and being a part of this and letting us thank come you. out here and be a part. And uh, maybe we can maybe we can send something along to the next generation. And, uh, Try it, to recruit some good ones. It's all it's, fun. Yeah. yeah, it is fun. Thank you so much, Robert. Thank you, Mr. Richard. All right, we're out here at the Waddell Outdoor Education Center, and another one of the classes that are offered today for the women is the fly fishing class. And I am here with... Uh, my name's Alex Bean, and I'm here from the Orvis store in Baton Rouge. Where are you from? Uh, originally from a lot of different places, New York, but I've lived here in Baton Rouge for almost 10 years now. All right. Nice cool weather we got out here. Today is perfect. Couldn't ask for a better day. We're not out here sweating. Yeah. Now, uh, you had a couple classes where you're showing them. I, I wonder if you can show me some basics or tell me some basics about, about flying or, or throwing or, or something. Give us some sure. insight here. Sure. One of the key things that most people I struggle with at first is they believe that it's the cast comes from the wrist and it actually doesn't. The cast comes from a, a lock of the wrist. You want to make the rod an extension of your forearm. Okay. It's all about timing and smoothness. So all it is, essentially, I'm going to take the rod from my starting position, shoot it up high in the air, which allows my fly line to shoot behind me. Once my fly line shoots behind me, I wait until it's straightened out, and then it's time to initiate my forward cast, which is coming forward. Once my fly lands in the water, I put the line under my stripping finger. I strip the line back, and that animates my fly and brings it to life, whether it's a bait fish imitation or a minnow or a little cricket, something like that. That brings it to life. Looks like we got a little brim following it out there right now. Oh, yeah. And then I got all this line here, and I do it again. Same nice smooth stroke. Back. The key is not breaking your wrist and stopping your rod up really high. Let the rod do the work for you. In this case, it's a nine foot fly rod. It's a precision tool that's designed to do the work. Um, 
we're fortunate also with our Louisiana saltwater fishery that it's some of the best fishing anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world for redfish on the fly. Yes, indeed. And sometimes you only have to go about nine foot of fly rod and another 10 feet. Well, thanks again. Yeah, no problem, Rodney. Great talking with you. Yeah, Thank appreciate you. it. All right, folks, we're out here at the Wadil Wildlife Refuge. That's a, that's a mouthful saying that. And I am with Miss D. Burnell, who put all this together. Now, where are you from, Miss D? Actually, from Michigan originally. Yes. How long you've been here forever? Oh, though. we've been down here 45 years. You have done an awesome job with this. Thank you. This was really nice. I'm glad we came out here. Thank you. Now, uh, how long did it take to plan something like this? It took about two months. And y'all had the last one in 2004. Yes, and we were burned out because we had it the year before and the year before, and we just couldn't get any helpers, so we said we're going to forget it for a while. Well, this year was really fun, y'all, and, they, and they're talking about either doing it next year or maybe in two years. But yeah, probably in two years. And, and that'll be really nice. Is, yeah. It's uh, it's really awesome. The archery was good. The uh, mm -hmm. Everything was good. It's, we had the nature walk out back. Uh, is there anybody you want to thank in this? I want to thank all the instructors. All they got was a free t-shirt. And, <laughs> and that took a lot. They did a lot of planning and a lot of carrying of supplies here. And a lot to teach. It takes a lot to teach. Yeah, and and, and very patience. informational. Very informational. Yes. I, I learned a bunch out here. I, I thought I was just coming out here to yes. do the show, you know, and I know all that. But I learned a lot today. And I want to thank you for having us out here. Thank you. And if, when y'all do it again, we will be back. We will. Thank you, Miss D. Thank you. All right, folks, this has been fun. I wasn't too sure going in, women in the outdoors, but I am sure now. We're going to have to come back next year to this. This was awesome. For some of the first time, it was some ladies' first times getting to shoot a bow, getting to shoot a gun, fly fishing. Uh, we went on a nature walk. This was fun. This was really, really nice. I want to thank Miss D. Burnell for letting us come out here and film this. And y'all, we'll see you next time on Cajun Living and Cooking. Hey, I hope y'all liked the show. Uh, during these hard times right now with the coronavirus, uh, things are going to get better. And together, we're going to be able to uh, fix this, you know. We're going to go back to normal soon. And when things do go back to normal, I want y'all to let us know your events coming up. When things are coming, give us a call. Uh, I want to thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking, and we'll see you next week.